After a long period of ensued differences between the national government, the county government of Trukana, and the locals on the revenue sharing deal from the sale of petroleum mined in Kenya, there is hope at the end of the tunnel. Ngine. Ngine. This is after President Kenyatta flagged off the first consignment of lorries that will transport 2,000 barrels of oil from Gamia 8 in Turkana County to Mombasa for export. Ladies and gentlemen, this flag off event and the anticipated implementation of the early oil pilot scheme marks the beginning of a long and fruitful journey. Presiding over the flagging off, the president accompanied by his deputy William Ruto and Trukana County Governor Joseph Fatnanok termed the successful exploration and drilling of crude oil as a step towards achieving the Big Four agenda. I believe also that this journey will also strengthen the existing economic and commercial partnerships as well as enhance the opportunities for growth and investment within our country. What we stand to gain from the production and exportation of oil and gas cannot be understated. The black gold will be ferried from Lokichara to the port of Mombasa through the Eldoret Kitale Lokichara Road, which underwent a maintenance ahead of the historic flagging off. Under the said early oil plot scheme, some 2,000 barrels of oil per day will be transported to Mombasa by road for eventual shipment. Carol Beye, all the way in Bakanadabal. The much-anticipated oil production kicked off after the president reached an amicable agreement with the people of Turkana on how the oil revenue should be shared. Under the revised revenue sharing formula, the county government of Turkana will receive 20% of the oil revenue, while 5% will go to the local community. The remaining 75% will be shared by all Kenyans through the national government. Initially, Trukana leaders wanted a 10% share of the total revenue, which was double what had been proposed by the national government. In the old revenue sharing formula, Trukana County was said to get 15% of the revenue, whereas the national government was to get 80%. Kelvin Ogome, KUTV.